Attention! McCarthy Math Academy proudly presents the Math FSA Boot Camp Series. Hello everyone, I'm Miss McCarthy and I am so excited that you are here. are more than a test score. We don't want you stressing out about this test. We just want you to activate your greatness within. And you might be saying, But Miss McCarthy, listen, I know that math is your jam, but math and I, yeah, we're not really the best of friends. You may have struggled in the past, and you know what? Good. Struggle is necessary because struggle makes us stronger. If we go over something in these videos that you're like, hmm, that skill didn't quite click yet, I'm gonna send you to more videos to help you practice. Your teachers and I, we can expose you to all kinds of tools and strategies, but you have to choose to use them. You have to choose to own them. Imagine opening up that test and feeling so excited to throw down your best. This can be your reality. So now is the time that you need to activate the person you were born to be and let's do this. Are you ready to throw 100% focus, hustle, and heart into this right now? That's what I'm talking about, yes! Okay, let's go ahead and jump on into today's episode of the Math FSA Bootcamp Series. And <laughs> I almost forgot to say, uh, let me teach ya. What's going on, fourth grade? Welcome to the Math FSA Bootcamp Series. This is video number 19. All right, y'all, so I'm hoping that you have the worksheet that you need for today. If you're like, wait, there's a worksheet that goes with this video. Yeah, there's a worksheet that goes with this video, and you can access it by clicking the link below or somewhere around this video. That link will take you to my website where you can download the worksheet that you need for this episode along with the other episodes in this Math FSA Bootcamp Series for fourth grade. So go ahead and pause the video solve number one and number two on your own and then you're gonna come on back and check your work make sure you throw down your best okay throw down your best and come on back to check your work I'll see you soon All right, fourth grade, welcome back. Let's go ahead and go over number one. So the first thing that I wanna do is identify the question type. I'm seeing A, B, C, and D, which means that this is a multiple choice question. Jot that down if you did not already. Okay, now that we know that it's a multiple choice question with a lot of words and a table. Which is gonna be super duper fun. Let's go ahead and read it and mark up our text. The table shows the distances that Travoris walks over the period of four days. So we've got a table right here that shows the distances in miles that Travoris walks over the period of four days. Which comparison about the distances is not true? So we've got a, these comparisons down here. Which one of those is not true? So we're looking for the one that is False. That means that three of these should be true and only one should not be true or false. So let's compare them. We've got Sunday's distance is greater than Friday's distance. Well, Sunday is right here. We've got two, I'm gonna jot it down, two and six tenths is Sunday's is greater than Friday, which is two and 46 hundredths. Let's compare these two distances and see if the statement is true or false. We've got two in the ones place and two in the ones place. Those are the same. We've got six in the tenths place and four in the tenths place. Those are different. So we're gonna stop right there. Which one is greater, the digit six or the digit four? Six, right? Which means that two and six tenths is in fact greater than two and 46 hundredths. So this one, is true, but we want to find the one that is not true or the one that is false. So we can eliminate A. Let's look at B. So here's A right there. B, B says, Friday's distance is less than Sunday's distance. So let me tip, pop out these two. I'm looking at Friday, which is two and 46 hundredths miles. 
is less than Sunday's distance, which was two and six tenths. Well, we just compared these, didn't we? And we found that two and six tenths was greater. The greater than sign is going towards that one. So this one is also true. That two and 46 hundredths is less. It's just like this one up here. See, it's less. All right, so we can eliminate that one. Let's try C. C says that Saturday's distance is less, I should have been doing this with all of them. Saturday's distance is less than Thursday's difference. So Saturday was three and seven tenths. We're saying that is less than Thursday, which was three and seven hundredths. Let's compare them. We've got three in the ones place and three in the ones place. Those are the same. We've got seven in the tenths place and zero in the tenths place. Those are different. Which one is greater, the digit seven in the tenths place or the digit zero? Seven, right? Which means that our comparison crocodile, his mouth should be opening up and trying to eat the greater number. So we have the wrong sign there. That means that C is false, which means that it is gonna be the right answer, but let's make sure that we did not make any mistakes by checking out D as well. D says that Thursday's distance is greater than Friday's distance. Well, Thursday was three and seven hundredths, saying that it's greater than Friday, which was two and 46 hundredths. Three and two, those are both in the ones place, the whole place, and they're different though. So we can stop right there. Which digit is greater, three or two? Three which means that we definitely want to have the comparison crocodile come over and eat this one up. That's how I remember it anyway. <laughs> All right, which means that this one is true. The only one that was not true or the only one that was false was which one? C, so let's mark it up. Bubble it in, bubble it in. Now look how much work and how much thinking is on my paper. It is so important that when you are taking a test or when you're reading any kind of math question that you're really looking at it carefully. And that's why I believe that marking up the text and working it out, showing all of your thinking on paper is the game changer that you need in your life. So make sure that you're doing that, okay? Now this is just the way that my brain thinks about it. Your brain probably thinks about it a different way. Just mark it up, put it on paper. It helps you to slow down your thinking wheels and make sure you're really looking at things carefully, okay? All right, everybody, let's go ahead and take a look at number two by first identifying the question type. I am seeing some boxes with multiple choice-ish kind of questions, um, but because we are going to be filling in the statements with answers. This is an editing task. This is one of the things that you will not see on the how to pass the math FSA series that I released a while ago. Okay, <laughs> now that we know what type of question it is, let's go ahead and read it. Miss Cheez-It. Okay, confession, I was totally eating Cheez-Its when I wrote this question. That sounds good right now, actually. Hang on a second, let me go get some Cheez-Its. Just kidding. All right, Miss Cheese it wrote two numbers on her whiteboard as shown below. So these two numbers. Complete the statements below about the two numbers and fill in the bubble before the choice set is correct. Okay, so I'm looking here and it says that six and eight hundredths, which is this one right here, is less than, greater than, or equal to the other one, six and eight tenths. So I have to compare them. So let me go ahead and compare them, all right? I like to do that like this. I guess I didn't really need to rewrite them, but sometimes seeing it a little bit bigger is nice. Okay, so I have the digit six in the ones place and the digit six in the ones place. Those are the same digit in the same place. Let's go to the next one. I have zero in the tenths place and eight in the tenths place. Those are different. I'm gonna put a D for different. So we can stop right there. Which digit is greater, the zero or the eight? Yeah, eight is greater. So we're gonna go ahead. I like to circle it. That way I know that I need to eat up this one right here, that six tenths is greater, which means that six and eight hundredths is less. So here, six and eight hundredths is, which one? Yeah, A, less than. 
We know it's not greater than it because we proved it here. We know it's not greater than it because we proved it right over there. There's my work. Boom. Okay. Now, why? Why is it less than? Well, because, let's see, the digits in the tenths place are different. Was it the tenths place that we were comparing? Yes, it was. The digits in the ones place are different. Nope, they were the same. No, both are six. Eliminate. Both numbers end with the digit eight. While this is true, those eights are in different places. We didn't even compare those two eights. That has nothing to do with how you compare. So the correct answer is A. A, 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 A. A, A. It doesn't always work like that, but today it's A and A. All right, at this time, go ahead and pause the video, rewind if you need to add anything, adjust your work if you need to, and then let me point you in the direction of some more practice on the skills that we learned today. All right, fourth grade. So if you know that you need some more help with the skills that we worked on in this video, like comparing decimals, I want you to first check out the link below or somewhere around this video to McCarthy Math 155. Pay close attention to unit nine because that's where the comparing decimals skill is located. Now only members can access the videos to McCarthy Math 155, but guess what? When you get yourself a free seven day trial, you are basically a member and you get to see all the videos, all the worksheets. You get to basically take McCarthy Math 155 for a test drive. So I definitely encourage you to do that. And teachers, if you are interested in becoming a member, this is something that you can share with your students. If you click on the tutorials tab on my website, check out video number five, I walk you how to do just that. The next link below that I encourage you to check out is to the How to Pass the Math FSA series. This is Now this is the first series that I created, and this was back when the FSA for third, fourth, and fifth grade was a computer-based test. It's not a computer-based test anymore, which means that some of the questions are going to look a little different than the paper-based version that we're doing in this series, the FSA Boot Camp series. It's raining right now, so if you were thinking, hey, is it raining when she's recording? Yeah, it is. Anyway, check out that link below to how to pass the math FSA. And I also encourage you to follow me on my social media platforms on Instagram and Facebook at McCarthy Math Academy. You can also find me on YouTube at McCarthy Math Academy and go ahead and subscribe. That way you're the first to know when I drop a new video. If you're watching this on YouTube, can you take a quick little second to smash that like button? Not just to make me feel good, but to support the mission that I'm on. You see, I'm on a mission to make math fun, make it click, and make it stick for as many third, fourth, and fifth graders as possible. Y'all, it breaks my heart when I see students struggling with math, and I want to reach as many students as I can. So when you smash that like button, it lets other people know, hey, you should check out her videos. And I love being able to help. It's really what like, I love it. So thank you so much for doing that. And finally, before you go, I just want you to know that you were created for a reason, for a purpose. That's right. You are the generation that we have been waiting for. So find your light and shine it bright. Watch out world, because we have a whole new generation of world changers. That's you who are ready to step it up and make this world a better place. That's super exciting. Remember that when you have the choice and you always have the choice to choose kindness. And I cannot wait to see you all on the next episode. Bye guys.